project I'm gonna be making kind of like those beaded garlands that we always see. However, I'm gonna be using cork. So I've been saving a bunch of different corks for a long time and that's where these pieces will come into play. So we have all different types of different cork. Okay, so we'll need a bunch of cork pieces. Those are all saved from wine bottles. Then we're gonna need some jute twine, obviously to string the cork on to drill the holes. We're gonna need a drill and some drill bits. I'm gonna need paper towel to lay down to cover up. I'm also gonna need a knife and a cutting board because I'm going to cut these into smaller pieces like this. All right, let's get started. So I am using a 3 slash 32 size of the drill bit and I'm going to just start by drilling a hole in the middle of every single cork. I'm also going to add to be very careful when doing this because you can accidentally cut your finger on the drill bit or your hand or something or drill through your hand. You just want to be very aware of what you're doing and go pretty slow. So I end up going through one side and then flipping the cork around and going back through the other way. I did this just to make sure that the hole was a pretty good hole and not because like when you're using this drill bit, the cork pieces just kind of go everywhere and get stuck in that hole. Once you're done, you're going to want to cut the corks into thirds. You can cut them whatever size you want. You can cut them in half. You can cut them into fours. I mean, however like you feel. And then I wanted to show you here that you can actually take the knife and slice down the side of the cork. And you can only do this with certain corks. And then you can take your fingers and just kind of pry up or peel off the outer layer of that piece of cork and then just stretch and pull the whole piece off and then you have a nice pretty cork colored and you have no words it's like plain but again you can only do that with like certain corks um you you can tell which type of corks like if it's an actual cork you can't do that obviously but these were not actually cork well the, some of them so I just kind of wanted to throw that in there. And once you're all done with all those, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. You're going to take a yarn needle and thread some twine on it and start putting the needle through every single piece of cork and just twine them all together as a one garland. Uh, right now that I'm done stringing on my cork beads, I'm going to make some tassels for the ends. So I'm just wrapping the twine around my hand 12 times. Then I'm going to cut the twine. Then I'm going to hold in the middle with my fingers and just cut the bottom pieces. Now I'm attaching those pieces in the middle. I'm going to tie a knot in the middle of those pieces with the <laughs> remaining string that is on the garland. Corona! I'm just going to tie a tight knot so that it's pretty close to that first cork piece. And then I'll put all the pieces together and bunch them in my hand. Take another piece of twine and I'm creating a circle. I'm wrapping the twine around itself. And this is just creating a really nice tassel for the end of this be, be cork beaded garland, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> cork garland. So I take the end of that twine, I put it up through that loop, and I pull the bottom string that I was holding with my thumb. And that will pull the loop underneath all those loops we just created. Pull that pretty tight, and then I can just trim off the little twine that's up above there hanging off and then trim the remaining pieces of twine just so they're all even and that's it for the tassels I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same process for the other side <laughs>
Try not to mind my mess on the table, but I didn't really know where to put these, but I kind of just draped them over this little vase inside of the basket here on my kitchen table. And I think it looks actually really nice. But I do like, you know, that this is all made out of natural material. And bonus tip, this can float in the water. If you wanted to take a bath with it, I don't know. <laughs> Get creative, guys. So, yeah, this, sorry about the mess around. I have, like, a bunch of food and whatnot on the table. I think it looks really good, just kind of draped in, in that. So let me know in the comments below if you would give this a try. It was actually pretty simple, but be careful when cutting the cork. I accidentally cut my finger, so... I do like beaded cork moment. I think it's really nice. This could go with any style, I think, of home decor.